Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing Bizarre Adventure, Joestar from Volnlub. Um, I rate this box about a solid intermediate. Uh, overall, pretty good box. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is, um, I'm going to open my terminal. I'm going to start a NetDisk over to discover the device on my network. Alright, so I'm going to control C. Uh, we do have the... Um, the, the IP address right there. So next, I'm gonna run an MAP scan. Um, so in this case, I'm not gonna do SC minus SV. I'm just gonna be scanning all ports. Um, make sure you scan all ports because um, I was actually doing this box before, and I couldn't actually. Um, I just well, I, I didn't scan all ports on it, and I was wondering why I couldn't figure out the box. But the reason why is because I didn't scan all ports, right? All right, so do we, we do see we have uh, port 22, uh, port 5380. So we do have a web server running. So we're gonna visit that um, IP address. So I'm gonna go opening a new window and we're gonna run a GoBuster against this. So we're gonna run a uh, GoBuster dir mode since we're gonna be looking for directories, um, HTTP and then minus W user share Word list, uh, Metis, or not Metis, play, um, Dirtbuster, uh, directory list 2.3 medium.txt. Uh, we do get images and documents, but the one we're going to be focusing on is um, under the documents. See, so, so you are going to be needing Excel for this to open it. Um, so I actually did find all these files. I already opened them, and the one we're going to focus on is the info tink status, which is an Excel file. So I'm going to exit out of my virtual machine. Uh, we're going to exit, um, view this. And the reason I know that the other ones didn't matter is because if you go to file and if you go to the info, the author was the creator of the box. And if you look on Bone Hub, uh, that's the creator of the box, right? So that's how I knew that was that. So the, the one we're going to, the main line that we're going to focus on is this right here. And um, if we go, if we do go back, uh, we do have a port right here, right? So I was wondering on what we could do, and the the way that the here, let me open Metasploit Framework, and let me show you guys. So I'm going to cd into user share word list or um, Metasploit Framework. Uh, I think it was under exploits. Um, it was under modules and then um, exploits. Yeah, so it was under that, right? So I actually did download the ATG client and I'm gonna be showing you guys what the ATG client is, right? So if we go to, um, so if we uh, type in use, which is the Ruby file right here, um, I got this from the exploit DB. You can just search up, or not the exploit DB, but uh, from a GitHub. Uh, we're, yeah, we're going to be using the auxiliary admin ATG, ATG client. So we're going to be show options right here. So we're going to set the R host 10.0.0.105. And the reason I'm doing this is because we want to specify the action right here um, for the auxiliary for, um, I believe it was um, set. Well, we want to find the version, right? So we're going to be set, we're going to set the action to uh, version. Let me just clear this actually show options. Um, we do have the R host, R port right here, and we specified the version. So we can click run, and we do see that it's TLS350. And I looked at the manual right here for the TLS350, and these were the available commands that we can run, right? So uh, I'm gonna go back here. Um, let me close this out. So if I go to my other um, Firefox opener here, if we do go back, um, here's a couple examples. Uh, this is in Spanish right here. Um, you, you see that to run the command, he uses the A, and we're gonna be doing A, um, he uses A and then the command line, or, or the command that we use, right? Um, so we need to run a command, we know that we have to do Control L, or Control A, and then the command. And to run that, we're actually gonna town it into this right here, right? So I'm gonna see you back. I'll see you into my uh, desktop. I'll do uh, mkdir. I'll do um, 
we'll call this um, Joe's. No, we'll just call this Joe's store. I spelled that right. Remove Joe's. Let me just remove this directory real quick. All right, so we're gonna cd into uh, Joe's store. Clear that. And we have nothing here, right? So um, um, next, so if we do uh, netcat minus l nvp or uh, netcat, we do pentagram actually on the IP address 105, and we also do it on this port right here, 10001. You do see that we get a unknown. So the reason to the so the way to run a command on here is doing Control A plus the command, and uh, you just see that we did have. Um, let me X out of all this. We did see that we have the inventory. So this is the command right here to access the inventory for the tanks. So we do uh, control A and or yeah, control A and then we do the command. You do you do see that we have the um, gas station right here for Love's fuel station. So we have super, unlead, diesel, and premium. Um, and also for just to note that there is a timer on this there is a timer on getting a shell so we're going to get a shell through this right here by connecting on a different port once we run a certain uh command right i'll show i'll be showing you guys uh, that command right now so um so next what we're going to do we're actually going to go here uh we do see we're going to be using this exploit right here which is ubuntu 18.04 that's going to be the privilege escalation right um so now if we do run the so if we we're gonna do uh how do you say a uh we're gonna connect right using this right here this um this uh command right that the server accepts um for the tank so I already tried all these and I was trying this and this uh command right here is gonna give us the shell right so if we do uh netcat minus nv um on that port we're going to start our listener, so we're, this is how we're going to get our connection. Or actually, we're going to not start a listener, we're going to connect to that port, right? So 10.0.0.105 on port. And for the port, we're actually going to run a different nmap scan, since a different port is going to pop up on here, right? So uh, right now, it doesn't let me connect, um, because there is a time duration on this. So I think it's about a minute and a half. So right now, it lets me connect, so we're going to do Control a plus that. So if we do a uh, port scan again, you do see a new port was discovered, port 2222. So we're gonna do uh, 2222. And we do see that's Joe Star tank one, right? And the way we're gonna privilege escalate is using LXD. We're gonna privilege escalate using LXD. And that's what we have right here, right? So for this to work, we actually need to build the um, Alpine right here. So I'm just gonna copy that um, for here. I'll cd into my desktop and we'll cd into Alex. No, it wasn't the, it was under Joe Star. Yeah, there you go. So next, I'm actually gonna get clone our, the repository. It doesn't seem like it copied, right? So we're gonna get clone the Alex um, Alpine Builder. And um, so now we have that right. So when you, now we're going to cd into LXD. And now to build it, you can just do um, build since uh, this is ran in shell. So you can do the forward slash. Um, seems like we failed something. Let me try running this again. There you go. So now it's. Um, installing so now we can clear this ls and we do see we have the tar.gc file um also this does um have a time limit so like i said um this is just going to exit out so uh we have about a minute and a half to um actually um um prevesc, right um which should be easy um i did try getting a persistent shell but for some reason it just kept closing um i also did research on it i tried using bash but that didn't work um, to get another connection, right? Or persistent connection. So now that we have that, um, we do have our tar tar.gc file. Uh, we're also gonna wget our alexd pri uh, privilege escalation script. And this is gonna be the script that we're gonna be using. 
So um, I'm just gonna copy, actually I'll just copy the file or the text right here. So I'm gonna open a leaf pad, we'll call this uh, get underscore root on the dot sh. This is gonna be transferred onto the, the host. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we're gonna to wanna to transfer the get root dot sh and also the tar.gc file, right? And also, um, we're gonna be running this under dev.shm. Okay, so next I'm gonna start a Python server. So we're gonna do Python 3 minus M, that stands for module HTTP dot server. We're gonna run this on port 8080 right now. So now we do have um, our server running and we're gonna be getting these files on there, right? So I already did this box, so my file should already be on here, but I'll just demonstrate on how I did it, right? So let's go back. Uh, we're gonna copy this. Right here, um, we do have, um, clear that, we're gonna clear that right there. So we're gonna do control A, V, then we're gonna connect. So now we're gonna CD into slash uh, dev slash, slash uh, SHM, I believe. And I already have this right here, so we're gonna remove these files so I can just demonstrate. And we're also gonna remove. Okay, so our connection was closed, but the way I was trying to do it is just remove those files so I can demonstrate. Um, so always, it's always good to check what um, your bit, what's running, and it does seem like we're we're gonna create a container right here as the function. Um, so it does, it shows that we're gonna listing images. We start the privesc, we lxc, execute the privesc, and we get a shell on here, and then it's gonna clean up our containers, right? So um, let's see, this seems about it, right? And this is where we got the, the file from. So I'm just gonna copy this again. This time I'm actually gonna be using, I'm gonna use all wrap so I can do it again, all wrap. So we do control A, that, and then we can uh, get our shell, dev dice hm ls. So now if we do, uh, oh, we actually need to uh, get the remove, let me get underscore, let me remove this real quick. So next, I'm going to get HTTP 10.0.0118 on port 8080. And then we're going to be getting our get root.sh. And we're also going to be using the same command, but this time we're actually going to transfer the tar.gz file. So now we got that, so we can clear that. Uh, I'm not going to waste time exporting that, but um, we do have the tar.gc file. So from here we can get underscore root.sh. The connection is probably going to get closer now, any minute, any second. Um, so now we can run our get root.sh. <clears throat> so now it's telling us that we need to specify the file name on here. So we can do, um, we can easily just do get root.sh minus f, and then from here we actually need to specify the tar.gc file, which was this one right here. So now, um, so since the privesks already exist, and our connection has closed, all right? Um, so we have to wait. So the next thing I'm actually gonna do is actually do um, x or lxc, and we're gonna list that uh, for the containers, and I'm actually gonna delete the privesk since um, I already done this box. Uh, the privesks already exist, but I'm actually going to delete it, right? So we have to wait uh, about about a minute and so. I might cut the video or not. I'll see. So um, actually, let's look at the documentation. So we can uh, LXC delete. Um, we'll see delete container. I don't think I spell that right. So yeah, here. Uh, it shows that we can do lxc delete, and we're going to delete our privesc right here. So 
instead of the instance right here. That's, that's just a um, example, right? Let me just copy this to get the connection again. Okay, so we're gonna control A, control V. Uh, we're gonna R wrap, and I'm just gonna do Alex C. Uh, what was it? Delete, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna delete the priv esque. Um, we actually need to force this. So we can do force. So now we force, and now we can cd into slash dev ls, and now we can do uh, get underscore root dot sh. And we're gonna do minus f. It's gonna specify the follow type tar dot gz. And you see if we do id. All right. So next, I actually want to like do a recap on on the privilege escalation. I just want to show you um, how to maintain the a persistent connection so you don't keep losing connection. And also, I'm actually going to show you guys the flag um, because it's under the mount root and root right since it's under the mount or since we mounted the root file right. So you want to control A into that. We want to get our uh, connection. So next, I'm actually just going to run a um, bin slash bash. We're going to set minus m cd into slash dev slash shm. We want to do it um, alex c. We want to force that. And then we want to do um, get underscore root dot sh minus follow type then we want to get our alpine and now we're root so now we want to cd into mount alice we want to cd into root we're going to cd into root again alice and we want to cat our uh flag or flag um, dot txe i'm just going to control c out of that um well yeah guys uh that's pretty much into the box uh, we got a root. Um, you can get your flag right here. And here's the uh, creator of the box. Here's his LinkedIn. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.